Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, this is my project for the week. Okay, I've taken it back in part exchange and it's a nearly 20 year old Toyota Corolla. Okay, so like I said, the project is to give this car a little bit of TLC. Um, for no fault of his own, I don't think he's seen a valet for a very long time. And that's all it really needs. You know, the car is a straight little car, but you know, it is what it is. It's old, it's got a very good MOT, you know, which helps. Um, and there is a market for these small, little Japanese, cheaper cars. But people do still do expect and still appreciate when it's cosmetically pleasing on the eye. So, um, the car needs headlights. They've gone all yellowy. So they need to be restored, which I'll do. It's got a few marks on the bumpers and things around the car, which we'll do. And what I'll do, guys, is when I'm doing that this week, I'll film it all. Um, show you what I do and I'll put it all together at the end of the week and you can see the difference Okay, so this is kind of a before video All right wheels and tires, you know very dirty full of old Brake dust and so on not been touched for a long time Inside let's have a look Okay, very good condition um, You know nothing's actually broken or ripped on the seats or anything, but just a lot of you know ground in dirt really just from years and years without being properly cleaned needs a very good vacuum only a little bit of wear is on here yeah nice actually the old head units there i remember these back in the day let's have a look see which one it is an old pioneer there you go don't see them very much anymore all right moving into the back same again really good condition in regards to not broken or ripped but not the cleanest so we'll do the full inside so you can see the difference and we'll do wheels tires full valet outside under the bonnet as well i would imagine it is not the best so we'll clean that up as well um and we'll have a look before we do that so it's monday by Friday, this is going to be up for sale and you can see the difference. All right, guys? Right, next step. And yep, yeah, as expected, looking a little bit tired under the bonnet as well. Let's have a look at the oil. There you go, guys. I'll tell you what, you know, the car was just nearly 20 years old. These are great, these little Jap cars. So, again, we'll clean the engine bay up make that look nice and we'll see how we get on hey guys welcome back okay first job on the Toyota Corolla headlights we're going to restore them and bring them back and make them look a lot better than what they do now all right now at the moment they've got that yellowy film on it doesn't look very nice okay so we're going to restore them and bring them back and make them look a lot better what we're going to use I'm going to use a wet, wet and dry 2000 okay we're going to do that first then you apply your compound to your buffer We've got a medium pad on the buffer, okay? And you buff it up then, okay, and it brings it back and you can see the difference, guys. It is brilliant, trust me. So, I'll do it step by step so you can see what I'm doing, how I do it. Okay, then I'll probably do the other one on a time lapse, okay, and then we'll have a look at the end result. Let's hey go. Guys, first job, 2000, wet and dry. So get that nice and wet, and we'll start running the head like that. Okay, nice and easy. Noise. You might even hear the noise, the scratching noise. That's just how much film and dirt is on top of the light, okay? And that's what we've got to remove. And as you're doing it, you can see, yeah, you might better see it on the camera, the water goes milky. Again, that's all the dirt and grime coming off. That's what you want, okay? That's what you're looking to get. So, I've seen a few of these videos, you know, on YouTube, restoring headlights and so on. And to be honest, a lot of them make it look harder than what it is, okay? So again, nice and easy. Three products, wet and dry, compound, buffer, that's all you need. We're just looking to improve it, guys, yeah? It doesn't have to be perfect, just looking to improve it. All right. Okay, so we're moving there now. Okay. Just remove, yeah, 
excess water from the light. Okay, just give that a wipe down. And when you do that, guys, it's going to look a bit cloudy. Okay, because you've used the wet and wet and dry paper there to cut into it a little bit. The light will look a bit dull, but that's what it should do. Until you buff it up, it's going to look dull. Okay, so next job, we're going to buff it up. Okay, guys, step two. Okay, we're going to buff it up now. Compound on my buffer. Not too much. Sensible amount. Okay. Right. You ready? So let's just start working it in. Okay guys, just quickly, as you probably noticed, I haven't masked up any of the body, okay? I have done this before, I kind of know how far I can go with this. If you're a complete novice and you've never done it before, I would suggest maybe just putting a line of masking tape just along to protect your bumpers from the pad, okay? Because obviously you do overlap slightly onto the body. But because I've done it before, I'm okay doing it. All right, let's carry on. Okay, so buffing done. Slight little bit of compound still on there. And that's what you use your cloth for just to take that off. And then, there you go guys. What a difference, I can see that already. Hope you can, I'll show you now. Okay guys, there's the headlight we've just been working on. And there's the one I'm yet to do. I hope you can see the difference between the two. Massive difference. Right, let's get on and do this one. Right guys, headlights been restored. I think you'll agree, what a difference. Okay, so as I showed you, it doesn't take long. And what a result. You know, the end results are way, way worth doing it. It doesn't take that long to do, like I said. Not that hard to do, not a lot of money either really to think about it. Bit of compound, bit of wet and dry, and you just buff it off. As easy as that. Some come up better than others, but these have come up really well. So I'm really pleased with that. Okay, while I've got my buffer out, there's a few marks on the body, which I'll go around now and tidy up as part of getting this car back up to looking a little bit better than what it was. Right guys, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, welcome back. So today, next step is giving the car a full valet. Under the bonnet, we're gonna do that. Wheels and tires and the whole body of the car. Right, three things we're gonna use. So in here, it's gunk, which will be used in some parts of the engine bay. And you can pick this up from any sort of um, car supply shop or online it's basically a biodegradable engine degreaser okay so that's going to work in all the old sort of if there's any old oil patches or whatever else all the grime and dirt that's going to eat into that but it's biodegradable so it's all good okay in here is our tfr which is traffic film remover by auto glim um cover the car in that everywhere all over rest of the engine up underneath the arches tires body all over the car okay it all gets covered in tfr and we'll brush that in then okay and the last one what we're going to use is again auto glim and it's wheel acid now this stuff is very strong it's for the trade only but it's the best product for the wheels all right i'll put that on the wheels and i'll actually show you and let you see it soak in and eat in and it just breaks down all this brake dust okay and then you can use a bristle brush um, you know, one of the bristle brushes, which is a bit firmer, not too firm that it scratches the wheels, but firm enough to eat in and agitate all the brake dust to get it nice and clean. All right, guys, so 
Um, I'll show you the wheels. I'll show you under the engine, and I might just do a time lapse then for me actually going around and steaming off the whole car. All right, let's get into it. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. So we're putting the acid to the wheels, just swirl it round, and then you just literally leave it to soak in and start eating into those wheels. Okay, guys, it takes a few seconds to start eating in. Okay, it does start to go sort of a slightly greener colour, but we'll leave that for a few seconds and let that start to eat in. In the meantime, we'll move on to a little bit of gunk under the engine. And it's just literally just spraying all the little components in and around the engine. Okay, which is going to get a little bit dirty. We don't want to let this eat in and let it soak in and do its job. Not too much. The TFR does a lot. Okay, so we don't need too much. And what I'll do then, start the car up. I'll keep it running then. So the engine warms up, okay, and we don't get stuck then having any issues getting it too wet. You might notice, guys, I'll give the car a vac. Didn't film it, just purely because, you know, who wants to see somebody vacuuming a car out for over an hour and a half, you know? Um, it's not the best. So, but again, we've covered all the wheels. We're having a good soak now. So that's eating into it now, guys. Just have a look. And we'll do, like I said, before and after, so you can get a good look. Right, let's carry on. starting to dry off nicely and there's only three products now which I use to finish it off okay super sheen by auto glim okay and it's like a rubber enhanced cleaner and it gives a nice sheen to it so it brings it up makes it look nice and shiny that goes under the engine bay okay and sometimes I'll use that in the wheel arches as well next one is again by auto glim and it's bumper trim and detailer this can be used on your plastics inside and outside and again, it just brings them back to that showroom finish, makes them look nice and sleek, gives them that nice polished off finish. Okay, so that's really good stuff. I'll show you that in a second, the difference before you put it on and then after you put it on. Okay, and the last thing I'll use is, which I've done a video on before actually, is again, Boil to Glim. It's a rubber plus cleaner, which I put in a jacket with a brush, in a jug, sorry, with a brush, and I apply it then with the brush around the tile. I can show you that again, no problem at all. That's the three things I'll use to finish this off. So we're nearly there guys, stay with us. Okay guys, so engine bay on the Corolla. A lot cleaner now, but obviously you can still, still looks a little bit tired, should we say. All right, and that's where the super sheen comes in. Okay, so we literally apply it by squirting the products on. Okay, and you can probably see already starting to make a difference. Just easily apply on and it gets on all your tubes, top trim, Okay, it is, easy. it is as easy as that, guys. It causes no problem to the car whatsoever. And as you can see, it's sort of got that milky finish at the moment. But we'll leave that to dry in, and then you can have a look, and you'll see the difference, guys. Okay, guys, next, we're going to hit the tyres. So again, like I said, if you have a look, how sort of dull they look now. We'll use the product which I love. Rubber Plus Cleaner by Auto Glim, applied with the brush, nice and easy, all the way around, don't be shy, spread it on, you hit that, by using the brush guys you don't get hardly any wastage, which is really good, all the product stays on the wheel, on the tyre so I say, and there you go, I think you'll all agree, what a difference. Hope you can see that on the camera now with the sun just coming out. Right, I'll get on and do all four. Okay guys, that's all four tyres done. While the engine bay is drying in, that super sheen soaking in, we'll hit the interior with some bumper trim, bumper trim and detailer. And this stuff as well guys smells lovely. So again, easy to apply on your plastics. It's in an aerosol, so literally just spray on. Okay, as you go in, It does leave that looking very nice. Leaves a nice smell in the car. Okay. So I'll go around now 
and I'll do all the plastics. You can, like I said, you can also use this outside. For instance, see how flat and dull that black trim looks. There you go. What a difference. Okay, so we can carry that all the way along. Into the grill. And we'll go around the driver's side. Just these little things, guys, all helps just to make that appearance of the car stand out a little bit extra. Just shows that someone's taken the time to clean it um, and look after the car. Okay, there we go. All right, we're getting there, guys. Next job, then we'll let that soak in now. The super sheen, we'll let the bumper trim soak in, let that do its job. Um, and again, like I said, a couple of little bits more to do around the car, little bits of plastic, little bit of touching in here and there. Um, and we'll see how we go. All right, okay, guys, do you remember the engine bay before? Take a look now, and I think you'll all agree what a difference that looks, okay. How much more presentable does that look? If you turn it up to look at a car, no matter what the age, and it's got an engine bay, it looks like it's been looked after, um, you know, it does make a big difference. And I think we'll be ready to get this up for sale before the weekend. Stay with me and we'll find out. Hey guys, cast your mind back. Here's the Corolla, all finished. So remember when we first got the car come in and part exchange, how tired it was looking. I think you'll all agree, it's looking a lot better now. Okay, we've done our few jobs on the car and everything we've done really hasn't been too time consuming. Um, you know, one of the best things was the headlights, guys. They have come up really well. Okay, all the wheels, tires now, nice and clean. Looks a different car, really. So, next job, get it advertised, get it out for sale, and I'll let you know when it's sold. Cheers, guys. We'll see you when it's sold.